so happy to answer any questions. I love, you know what? I'm I'm kind of old. Well, I'm 65. Okay? So, yeah. <laughs> but I am bit so, I don't know, to me it's a little difficult to get with uh, emails and all that kind of stuff. Talk to me. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you want. And um, it's much better if we do it in person, but the phone will work. If you have any questions, any concerns, like I say, I have asked me in my side. So if I don't know the answer, I'll always go to her. Mm -hmm. And so be totally um, sure that we will do everything to answer your questions. So give us a call. We try. I will say I kind of, it feels like I live here. But we close on <laughs> some days, so I'm not here those days. Even though sometimes I am, <laughs> but we don't open the store. But um, I will call you. Um, we will talk and anything. Like I say, um, talk to me and ask me any questions that you have. I will be so happy to answer your questions. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Tea with Mona Me. Today I am here with some amazing ladies from our alterations department. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, my name is Sonia and I work in the uh, alterations department. I'm actually the alterations manager. Um, and I'll be glad to ask any questions or concerns you have about alterations. I've been here 20 years, 20 happy years. <laughs> uh, I love what I do. So, and I wanted to kind of like think that it shows that I love what I do. Hi, my name is Esmeralda and I'm being here, I'm a seamstress. And I'm here for like 24 years. And I'm really happy to be here to help you, of course. And um, anything that alteration that you need I'm really happy to I mean uh, I'm sorry again to help you okay okay so you guys have been in you guys have been doing alterations for a long time so you said each one of you you have 20 years I've been 20 years yeah and then how long have you been doing alterations as me I'm here for tw already 24. But for how long have we been doing alteration? Oh, alteration actually for like 30. 30 years 30. you've been doing alterations? Yes. Yes. And uh, yes, I'm, of course, I love to do that and I can make the whole dresses. Mm -hmm. I mean, from scratch. And I really enjoy my job. Yeah. So, so I'm going to ask you guys some questions today about alterations um some some things that we feel like brides should should know so first i would like to ask what do you suggest that brides bring with them to their alterations appointment well the most important you need to bring is your of course your uh, shoes your undergarments if you plan to wear some uh bra or spanx or you know anything that you um, think to work, you can come with uh, your stuff ready. And it's going to be much easier for us to adjust the dress exactly the way that you want it. Okay, great. So when brides come to their alterations appointments, we stress that they do need to be on time. How important is it that brides get here on time for their appointment? It is important because we are scheduled, the symptoms are scheduled by the hour. So we wanted every, every bride to have the time to explain um, to the symptoms how she wants it, to uh, if she wants to do any changes. So she needs the time. She needs the time the whole hour to... You know, and also to get acquaintance with your seamstress and get a little familiar and feel free to ask her any questions that you have for her because she will be the right person to ask any other questions that you have. Exactly. So that first appointment, how does that first appointment go? What it, What is the, what happens? Okay, in the first appointment, um, 
either that you bring your dress with you or that we have your dress in here still. So you just bring your shoes like Esmeralda the seamstress told you. You bring your shoes, your undergarments, the ones that you plan to wear because you actually gonna get pinned to the dress with everything that you have on. If you wear a bra before and then after you don't wear a bra before, it's like, it's gonna feel a little bit different. Even though some dresses, they come with the structure already there, those help for support. Um, but I mean, you know your body better. Sometimes, you know, if your bust is a little more, you know, I would say more than a, than a C, you need the support. So if you think that a bustier, one of those bustiers will help you to kind of like put up your bust in the right place, just bring it. Just bring it because we try it with your dress at the first time. And if it doesn't work, we will figure it out other ways to make the dress fits properly. Either adding more boning, adding bra cups, we'll find a way to make the dress fits good. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do. Bring the stuff together. We get you in the dress. At that point, the seamstress will determine with you what is the best way that the dress will fit. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, it's really important. So we get you in the dress. We get you ready for the seamstress. The seamstress comes in, decide at that point with you, how do you want the dress? And then she pins the dress that day. If you need him, take it in, um, bustles, uh, shoulders, uh, whatever you need, you will pin. So that's pretty much what is done. She will give you the paperwork explaining what is it that she's going to do um, and pretty much how much is it going to cost. She will give you your second feeding, which it is in about kind of like between four or five weeks, depending on your wedding day. So all the work that you pin the day is going to be done when you come to the second feeding. At the second feeding, it might be just minor adjustments. She might need you another time. At the point, according to her schedule and your schedule, she will give you another feeding if she needs you. If it's minor adjustments, she will probably do it and know you just come to pick up your dress. You can try it on it at that point or you can just pick it up. You know, so it goes kind of like that. Okay, great. When brides purchase their dress here, we give them an alterations estimate. So it's a pretty standard estimate and it includes basic alterations of what they would need for the gown to fit properly when it when it gets here. Um, it doesn't include any any kind of intricate alterations or any additional work that would need to be done to accommodate certain factors. So that estimate, what is the difference between the estimate we give and the price you guys give in that first appointment? And um, I would say maybe how accurate is it? Not in terms, it's an accurate estimate because we, you know, we, it's going to most likely be in that range, but um what can when can brides expect to spend more when can brides expect to spend less within that range based on the work that needs to be done we try always try to be on the same code like they give you and like the that you have on your paperwork um i mean on your when they give you the estimate and if we change for example if you need just only him uh, then uh, we're going to charge only for him. And of course, you're not going to pay the full uh, amount that they give you. But some cases, the bride prefer or, uh, to change, to do any changes. Like, for example, like um, add sleeves or remove sleeves or make the um, neckline lower or on the back. So uh, in that cases, of course, it's going to be a little bit different the price, which um, is going to be extra from your estimate. But if you need all, you don't need him, then we can still keep on the same amount. So, but again, that one we discuss when you come in and then you have your wedding, uh, your wedding gown um, on, and then we talk about it. Okay. Great. 
about the estimate yeah um i just want to say i measure some of the brides too when you order your gown um and normally see you try it on samples and the samples in here are normally a size 10 or 12 so sometimes the clipping don't help but we try to like see at that point what is it that you're going to need remember that you don't have the shoes at that point so we give you kind of like a basic estimate according to kind of like the whole when we see you might need alterations side seam shoulders uh bustles hem all that so we try to cover the estimate according to like how many layers they need to be hem lace to be removed and put back um so depends on that also the price uh, when we measure it, like I said, we don't know exactly. We just try based on the sample that you have on. What we see in alterations happening is once we measure you for the sides, the brides, of course, you want to look your best. And they always, you know, kind of like we always think that if we lose 10 pounds or 7 pounds or 15 pounds, the dress will look better. And, you know, it might, it might look better, but remember that we measure you probably six or eight months or a year before your wedding. So if you ch your measurements change to the point of your alterations, you're going to need more alterations. So kind of like that's the reason why it varies in the in the um, quarter of the alterations. Um, and like Esme says, if you need only hem on your dress and bustles, you will be charged for that. But if you're going to need all the adjustments, uh, that's going to be a little different. Another thing, if you discuss with your stylist, if you want to make changes on your dress, like raising the neckline or lowering the back uh, or tightening the, uh, you know, kind of like in your under your legs to make it a little more mermaid. Those are kind of custom changes that we do to the dresses. And that's additional. And many times we discussed it. If you know for sure at that point that you want to make those changes, we try to give you a custom cost of what that is going to be. Um, if you still decide at the point of alterations to go ahead and do those changes, so we will include that in the uh, original quote if they didn't give you at that point, you know, about how much it was going to cost the custom alterations mm -hmm. um so that's pretty much how the the uh, the quote for the alterations it is um but we we try to stick pretty much what is it that you really need and then it goes from there if you want to do changes to the dress which they're totally most i would say 95 percent of the time they're doable without destroying the integrity of the dress or your dress or your the style of the dress. Perfect. So while we're on the same note about the pricing, how do brides pay for alterations? Um, when you come in here the first time for your alterations and you haven't paid your balance on the dress, uh, which is normally you put like 60% down, Sometimes you pay the whole amount when you order your dress. But if, if it is the case that you put only 60%, it's required for the balance on the gown to be paid for the alterations. Then once the, the seamstress pin your dress and let you know how much it will be, uh, you have to put like with your dress, you have to put some percentage on the alterations. Same like you did with your dress. And the balance is you when you come for the second fitting which pretty much your alterations are going to be done at the second fitting. So that's how it works. Balance on the gown has to pay. And if not the total amount, but again, like 50, 60% of the alterations charge, it has to be covered. Okay. They start the okay. So balance on dress, key things, balance on the dress needs to be paid. And then if you can't pay for the full amount of the alterations at the time of the alterations, you need to put at least 50 to 60% down. Remaining balance will be taken on the second appointment. Yes. Perfect. Cool. Okay. So brides, we, and you guys mentioned this briefly, a lot of times brides will come in 
and they will tell us about a body change. They'll say, um, you know, I'm good. I'm planning to lose 20 pounds before the wedding, or I'm planning on getting a breast augmentation before the wedding or something along those lines. So what are some of the changes that we can accommodate in terms of how your body would change for alterations? And what are some changes that would be a little more difficult to accommodate? Okay. In that situation, we um, recommend to start the alteration until you ready, like you say, it's okay, I'm not going to lose any more weight. I'm ready to start the alterations. So the important thing that you're feeling very comfortable when you come and try it on your gown and, of course, feel the, the um, beautiful bride that you're going to be. And, um, yes, always we recommend that, that you we're waiting for your alteration until you're ready to not change anymore. Your, your weight, of course. Okay, so lose what you're going to lose prior to the alterations being done. Okay, so what happens if a bride loses maybe another inch from stress, another 10 pounds maybe from stress while she's getting the alterations done? What does that process look like? Uh, well, I, again, I, we prefer because we have to open the seams, especially when we have, uh, when this involves beading or lace, we don't want to no, kind of not damage, but keep opening the seams. And that's why we prefer to do it, uh, you know, when um, not lose weight after your second feeding. But in case if that happened, of course, oh, we so happy to help you and, and you know, adjusting. Um, maybe it's going to be an extra charge if you're not tell, telling us like you're not, uh, still losing weight. But we try to do the best for our customers. So it's not a problem. We can adjust it and then you're going to feeling, you know, amazing that date. Great. So when do you suggest that brides come in for their alterations? Come in for the alterations. Um, probably depends on the dress. Some dresses are more difficult than others and they need more time. We normally recommend um, six, eight weeks before. It's always good if you're planning to do changes on your dress, like if you want to long sleeves, if you want to do something with the neckline, if you want to do changes. I would say give the seamstress at least a couple more weeks. Uh, you can come. As long as, I think this depends more on how your body changes. If you think your body is pretty much the same, it's going to be the same three months before the wedding, you can come three months before and start working on it. And the point is because, let's say you need to add long sleeves. So we need to find out fabrics. We need to find uh, laces. So we need time to do all those things. So if you haven't mind changes for your dress, um, we need a little more time. At least probably a couple extra weeks to work on those. So if you from the beginning have planned that one, just, just call us before. Once you have your dress and you want to come before, knowing your body, if you think it's going to be the same, no changes, that's, it's okay. It's okay to come a little bit earlier. Great. Okay. So for the longest time, we did not do outside alts, alterations. We didn't do outside alterations. Our alteration service was reserved for Mona Me Brides. However, because you guys are so skilled, we started to take outside alterations. So typically when we do outside alterations, we ask that brides make a quote appointment what is the quote appointment and why should brides make that first before they go ahead and schedule? Okay, well, we're really happy when they allow us to take brides, you know, from they, they didn't get the dress here. Or sometimes even like mom dresses or bridesmaid dresses because, I mean, that's what we like to do. That's what we like to do, alterations. And so we were really happy. Um... Sometimes it gets a little difficult because 
you get your dress somewhere else and it's kind of like for us we don't have those fabrics and many times we don't have access to the fabrics if you bring the dress from another place that's the reason why we have a, a, an appointment where you come over you bring the dress we'll check and see all those things do can we do your alterations do we need fabric to finish your alterations if we totally okay and for sure you we're gonna be able to do your alterations we will let you know and we will give you a price like i say according to what you need we will give you a price and we may, we might not be able to do the pinning that day because for any fitting we need the customer to have their shoes their bride they're gonna wear one so many customers they don't come prepare so you need to come prepare for that reason we just give you the quote that day we'll let you know if we can do your alterations we give you the price and then you can decide uh, if you want to do it if you decide to do it like I say you need to make an appointment and come prepare you need to bring all those items that we need and so do your appointment and try to do it if it is a wedding gown we're still going to need the six to eight weeks before the date if it is a mom dress if it is a formal gown that you know bridesmaids or just you know like a a uh, dress that you're gonna wear to the wedding um, we probably would need at least a month you know three to four weeks we need that we need the time to do it okay okay great well is there anything else you guys could think that you want brides to know prior to coming in for alterations that we didn't already cover me as I mean as the manager and Esme is gonna tell you from my point of view is like and if I I put myself like in a bride's shoes and I think you got your dress, you already put so much into your dress because remember you pick between how many dresses we have in here? Like three thousand dresses in here? Lots of dresses. <laughs> yeah. So we ha you pick your dress with us. And um, it's very special for us, and for you, of course, you dress. So we wanted, we want you to look your best. We want you to have our simplest side the best. I mean, that's what they're doing, been doing all their life. And they're so accommodating, and they're so, like, we try to, you know, know you better, see what you need. Um, and also, just for me to have the confidence that your dress is going to look great, you're going to be looking great on your dress, and, and to have that for sure thing that it's going to be ready on time. We in here, even if we have to work 24 hours on your dress, for sure you will have it ready for your wedding. It's kind of like our commitment to have the dress for you ready for your wedding day no matter what and i'm talking rain shine whatever it happens is you will get married in that dress so that's that's kind of like my pride in what we do in the alterations it's just like we will do our best and that you can count on it and you know who i am I'm Sonia, so you can always come and say, <laughs> Sonia, you're promising. So, I, know, I will not promise you something that I cannot f fulfill. Yes. So you can count on me. From me, personal always coming, you can count on me. Yes. And as me, she will, you know, the same thing. She will let you know how she feels about it. But she, you know what? She's like, what do you call the, the she's my wing. Your wing woman. Yes, my wing woman. <laughs> Great team is is we make a great team with the simplest that we're working here. Esme is a special to me because we totally understand each other, and I mean for that reason I would say a hundred. If it's not a thousand percent, I would recommend come over. Mm -hmm. And even though you didn't get your dress here, just come to see us and discuss. And I said you have my promise. You have Esme's promise that. You're going to look your best that day. Exactly. And of course, one of the pros is that 
we are insured and everything like that. So you're safe bringing your dress here. Oh, yes. You know, it's different than as if you were to go, you know, because a lot of times people don't quite understand the cost of alterations, right? They don't understand what they're necessarily paying for. But not only are you paying for work, I mean, we heard from you as me 30 years of alterations experience. And then with our other seamstresses too, how many years would you guys say amongst the other seamstresses that they have? Yeah, 30, 40, 45 I mean, a lot of symptoms are retiring here. Mm -hmm. They just start very young where their kids were like five years old and now they're doctors. And I mean, we had, I mean, in the years that I've been here, 20 years, we have retired at least like six, say, seamstress. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we still see them. They come once in a while to say hi. And um, I mean, they're just retiring and enjoying their time, but they were so great. I got a chance to work with a lot of seamstresses, and they're all of them. I don't even have a minor complaint about any of them because once you're here, we make him feel like family, and then uh, we all like a team. If we have a dress that once maybe one cannot figure it out, we all gather together and say, This is what we have to do, mm -hmm. and we do it. Mm -hmm. So that's how we work. Yeah. Do you have anything to add? And yeah, I mean, it's totally right. Like Sonia said, and I'm really, we, I mean, of course, I'm really, really happy to work with her. And uh, to me, uh, my, my priority, priority. Mm -hmm. it's the best, of course, uh, to, to see the smile on my customers because every price is very, very special to me. And, uh, and yes, I'm here to, I'm really happy to see you. And uh, yeah, we're so happy to, um, we're waiting for you to come and to have a great experience with us. Thank you. Yes. Well, thank you ladies for coming and talking with us today. Um, you definitely are very important to Mona me and I know to all of your guys' brides too. So if anybody would like to, ask any questions, speak to them directly. Of course, you can email info at monami.com or you can call the store here, ask for Sonia. She, again, is our alterations manager. She can talk you through a lot of your questions, probably all of your questions. Yes. Yeah, I will be so happy to answer any questions. I love, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of old. Well, I'm 65, okay? Sorry. <laughs> but I am bit so, I don't know, to me it's a little difficult to get with uh, emails and all that kind of stuff. Talk to me. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you want. And um, it's much better if we do it in person, but the phone will work if you have any questions, any concerns. Like I say, I have asked me in my side, so if I don't know the answer, I'll always go to her. Mm -hmm. And so be totally um, sure that we will do everything to answer your question. So give us a call. We try. I always say I kind of, it feels like I live here, but we close <laughs> some, some days. So I'm not here those days, even though sometimes I am, but we don't open the store, but um I will call you, um, we will talk, and anything, like I say, um, talk to me and ask me any questions that you have. I will be so happy to answer your questions. For sure. Well, thank you again, ladies. If you guys liked this episode of the podcast or like our podcast in general, first of all, make sure to rate us on the um, Apple Podcasts and subscribe to us on both Spotify and Apple Podcast. If you want to see more of us, then you can follow us at Monami Bridal Salon. That's on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube. I think I got them all. I think that's it. But if I didn't cover something, it's at Mona B. Bridal Salon on really everything. Um, so yeah, until next week, we'll, we'll talk to you guys then. Bye.